Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a try on on jeans from Pakistan, Abercrombie & Fitch and American Eagle. I tend to talk a lot and we're not going to do that today so let's get into the video. I like stretchy jeans because I have thick thighs and a small waistline. Jeggings and they are called the Super Super Stretch X4. The ones I wore previously were called Super Super Stretch X Light Wash Jeggings. These are called High Rise Jegging Crop. This is a size zero. This one says Next Level Stretch X. These are size 2 jeggings, short low rise, super stretch. These are the high rise jegging crop. These are size 0. It says next level stretch X. You don't know how long I look for white pants. I struggle to find blue jeans that actually fit me. This was an even bigger struggle for me. 2018 came and finally I have white pants in my closet. This one is a size 24 and they're distressed in the front. These are not as stretchy as I would want them to be, but I tried to go a size up. It was too big. I love jeggings. I feel if you have thick thighs, you need to have nothing but jeggings in your closet. If you're lucky, you'll find boyfriend jeans, mom jeans that will fit, but it rarely happens. They're a little distressed in the back as well. And these are a size 24. These are Uncle Jake. Kind of depressed if you ask me. I feel like they are more depressed than distressed. These are size 25. I love these shorts but I don't like this. You guys these pants from Abercrombie and Fitch. I struggled for a long time to find jeans that actually fit my body and I feel like Abercrombie and Fitch saved my life. I haven't purchased jeans from them for a while now and that's mostly because whenever I go in the store I almost never find like jeans that are cute enough. I think the last time I purchased jeans from there was about a year ago and I think this is the last pair. I've been there several times, I just didn't find anything cute. Abercrombie & Fitch has the best quality jeans. They're expensive and I feel like they rarely have a sale because I don't think I ever bought jeans from their own sale. That pants almost 100 bucks, but it's good quality, they last a long time. I have jeans from there that I purchased in 2012. These are a size 2. Even though Abercrombie has good quality jeans, they are not as up to date as other stores. Like right now, everybody's into distressed jeans. I purchased this a while back. I don't know when I purchased them. And they're a little distressed, but they're not as distressed as we want them to be in 2018. If you're in school, this actually helps. Like I purchased... Actually, I'm lying because when I was in school, I used to throw on leggings just because I didn't want to be bothered. I was going to say, when you're in school and you have a pair of jeans, just throw on your jeans and go to school. That's not the truth because that's not what I did. When I was in school, I wore leggings most of the time. I was too lazy and I didn't want to wear my cute clothes to school because I'm here to get an education and go home. So I pretty much wore leggings most of my college years. Abercrombie doesn't have much of a stretch in their jeans. So hopefully they still fit me. So these are actually 
actually stretchy enough. I didn't struggle to get in them. And they're size zero. I really hate this. I thought this was really cute and that's why I purchased the jeans, but I really hated this. They're very comfortable. They're not distressed, so whenever I feel bored, I can wear this. These are very stretchy actually. These are a size 26. Distressed in the front, not as distressed as we want them to be in 2018, but they're distressed enough for whenever I bought them. I like this. I like the box. I haven't purchased anything from Abercrombie & Fitch and I wanted to show you guys that they have good jeans as well. I purchased these distressed boyfriend jeans. I don't think I really liked how they fit, but I really wanted boyfriend jeans and I struggled for a long time to find the jeans that I wanted, so I just settled for this. So this is a size zero. And look at how big it is. If you're one of those people, you pick up pants that you don't want to try on, just use your arm and it has to fit like from here up to here and that's your size. They are boyfriend jeans. The waistline is not supposed to be this big and the thighs are not supposed to be this tight. I'm mad because Abercrombie pants are very expensive, but I know I purchased these a while back. I just forgot about them. I love the jeans from PacSun, Abercrombie & Fitch, and American Eagle. Those are the only three stores that I actually purchased jeans from. If I was to pick a favorite one store I would always buy jeans from, I would say PacSun. American Eagle is cheaper than Abercrombie & Fitch and their pants are always on sale. I'll go to American Eagle and their pants are like $69.95 and I'll walk out of there with like six pairs of pants for less than $300. I have never bought pants on sale at Abercrombie & Fitch. Paxson always has a sale, but it's always the stuff that you don't really want. And most of their sales are like tops. I don't think I ever see like a sale on jeans. But their pants are a lot cheaper than Abercrombie & Fitch. You spend at least $30 less at Paxson. And there is more stretch in the pants. They fit better. They have cuter pants. If you want distressed jeans, definitely American Eagle. You will save money and they actually have a lot of distressed jeans. If you want stretchy jeans, go to PacSun. You're going to find the best fitting jeans in PacSun. I feel like the best quality jeans come from Abercrombie & Fitch though. When it comes to tops, I don't care. As long as it's cute, I'm going to purchase it. But when it comes to jeans, I like to spend a little more money and get better quality jeans. And thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video.